Hi, this is Dave Wilber from AppInventor.org. Um, in the previous uh, session, I showed you how to build an app where I can click play and play speech by MLK and pause it. Okay. Now I'm going to extend it so I've got two pictures. One's going to be of Malcolm X, and I've got two speeches, and I can kind of play and pause both of those. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is is go get the new media I need. And if you want, you can go to AppInventor.org, and you know this is the text equivalent of the lesson I'm I'm going over in video here. And if you go down, you'll see a bunch of media. Okay, that's for the first part of what we already finished. But if we go down further, we can get a picture of Malcolm X, a sound clip, and then we'll also get a smaller picture of MLK so that it'll show up, um, you know, and fit kind of off the screen. Okay, so I'm going to download these guys. And I, on a Mac, I control click. I think on Windows, you right click. And if I save link as, um, and I can save this Malcolm picture. Okay. And notice when I create these in Photoshop, I kind of put the width and height on them just so I can know the size of, of these pictures. And I like to kind of, you know, get my get my images ready with Photoshop before I put them in an app inventor. Okay. I'm also going to grab the sound clip for Malcolm's speech. Uh, this is a great speech talking about why his name is is Malcolm X. Okay. Um, and then finally, I'm going to get the smaller picture of MLK. And, and remember, all I'm doing is putting these on my computer. They're not yet in my in my app. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm back in App Inventor, and I'm just going to load that that media in. So I'm going to say Upload New, Browse, and I can go grab my media. So there's the MLK, the new picture, right? And then I'm going to upload, Browse, and grab the Malcolm. Um, there's the Malcolm picture, okay. Bring that in, say okay. And I've got my pictures. Notice they're not showing up on the on the UI because they're really just kind of they're in my app, but they're not um, set on any components yet. Okay, so there's the speech by Malcolm X. So I've got all my media loaded now, and now I just need to kind of set up my user interface. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to switch MLK's picture from this big one we used to start. And I'm going to change it so it's now going to be the smaller Martin Luther King picture. Okay, so there's that. And if I look on my phone, and you know, remember I'm showing this on my emulator, it changes, right? Um, so second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a screen arrangement. Okay, because I'm going to want these guys to be side by side. And there's various screen arrangements, but I'm going to grab a table arrangement, stick it in, and then you kind of have to drag these components and get them into the right place in your in your screen range. So there's him okay. I actually want him there, right? And I want his play button right below. Okay, and then I'm going to add Malcolm here. Okay, so I need a new image component. Okay. Remember we always need a component to kind of put our pictures in. So I'm going to grab the image component. This is going to be for Malcolm X. And I need to set his picture property to the Malcolm picture. Okay, great. And then finally, I need a, another button. Okay, so I'm going to grab this button and I want to put the text play on it as well. Okay, and now I'm kind of set up for how I want things to look. Okay, in the next next session, I'm going to show you how to, to change the behaviors to, to make this app work. Okay, but before I do that, I'm going to change the names of my components because, you know, now things are getting more complicated. And you know when I'm over in the blocks editor, I'm going to have all these components appear here, and I kind of need to know which is which. And it gets very confusing if you don't describe them well. So back in the designer, I'm going to change the name of these components. Instead, of image one, I'm going to name this the um, MLK image. Okay, and you just have to click rename down here and put MLK image. Okay, I always like to leave the component name um, as the end of the name, right? And then the describing part, in this case MLK, is as the front of it. Okay, button one is MLK's button, so I'm going to name that MLK button. Okay, and then image two is Malcolm's image, so I'm going to call it Malcolm image. Okay, and then finally I've got another button. I'll rename that the Malcolm button. Okay, I'm almost ready to go. I've got my UI pretty much set up. Now, I could use this player component 
to do both speeches, right? You can change the source and, and so it, so it could do the different sound clips. But at least for this first app, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a simpler way where I'm just gonna add another player component. Okay, and remember you get the player components in media. I'll just drag this one in. So I'm gonna have one player component for one speech and one for the other. I mean, player one I'm gonna rename to the MLK player. Okay. All right, and player two is going to be in charge of playing my Malcolm speech. So I'm going to call him Malcolm player. Now, just changing those names doesn't do anything, right? Um, oops, I kind of renamed this poorly. I want that to be player. Okay. Okay, so changing the names doesn't do anything. I, I, I still need to make sure my sound files are associated correctly. So MLK player has his speech. But I need to make sure my Malcolm player has the Malcolm speech, this .mp3 down here. Okay, so that's the file associated with the player. Okay, so I've got my UI set up. I've got my kind of player set up to play the speeches. And the next step is going to be actually do the behavior in the blocks editor.